Welcome to Spinsterhood. My name's Jill, and I'll be your guide. Tools, tools, tools. We've all known our fair share, that's for sure. But what do you actually need to own in the event that you need to fix something? Well, today I'm gonna give you a short list. <laughs> I have lived in apartments most of my adult life. Um, right now, I actually, I just bought a house in the fall. So now uh, all repairs fall to me. But when I lived in an apartment, uh, my landlord did most of the big work. So I only needed a few simple tools to do most everything. Ideally, you should own a variety of items from pliers and a hammer to wrenches, and screwdrivers of all different sizes. You need to own at least two screwdrivers, a Phillips head, which is the one that you've definitely heard of before. It looks like it's a star tip. Um, most screws require a Phillips head in order to tighten and loosen them. Uh, can you use a power screwdriver, an electric screwdriver? Sure, but do you know how much those cost? Like, seriously, I am not made of money, okay? So these, super affordable. You can get a whole pack. This is a flathead. Guess what type of tip it is? It's flat, it's a flat tip. Surprise, surprise. Uh, this can be used for a lot of different, um, actually a lot of different stuff. Uh, I also use this to open paint cans and to kind of pry stuff open. Side fun fact about the Phillips head here is that in the event that your ceiling is leaking because you decided to buy a hundred year old house as is, uh, you can jam it right up there and let all that rainwater drain while you wait a long time for someone to call you back with a quote. Um, I don't get, do you not want my money? Seriously, do you not want my money? Like, it's an epidemic. You're gonna be waiting a while. So all you apartment dwellers, just be happy you have a landlord who's gonna take care of that for you. Otherwise, this is gonna be your best friend. What time is it? Oh, nailed it. Ooh, that's a twofer right there. So you want a really good hammer. You wanna make sure that it's heavy and feels good in your hand. So when you go to buy one, lift it, feel it, really like give it a chance in your hand to see how it feels. Uh, the reason I bring that up is I used to have uh, another hammer that was to be quite honest, pretty crappy. It was lightweight and it meant that more often than not, I ended up with bent nails or nails that were going in at an angle and that's not what you want. You wanna be able to hit a nail like twice and have it go all the way in. These are your wrenches. This is a socket wrench. A uh, socket wrench has the tip that is um, removable and adjustable. So when you buy it, you wanna make sure you're getting a kit that has all the different tips and Socket Wrench is known for that great sound. Really, really makes me feel like I'm doing something. And my wrench here, this other is an adjustable wrench. So you can adjust the opening when you're wrenching. These are one of those items that you think, when am I gonna use it? And then you need it and you're like, oh man, so glad I had those pliers on hand. These are needle nose. These are not. If nothing else, you need to own the following three items. A good, strong, sturdy, heavy hammer, good Phillips head, and a good flathead screwdriver. If you've got these three items, you're good to go. You're pretty much set for any minor projects that you need to tackle. Now, there's gonna be some stuff that you need to call your landlord for. That's okay, that's life. But with these three items, there's a lot that you can tackle on your own. Okay, so till next time, you stay confident and believe me when I say, you got this. You are so good to go. I believe in you. Till next time, this has been Spinsterhood.